As people professionals, we naturally focus on the things that create the most value for our people and the business as a whole. This means identifying and delivering on the issues, opportunities and risks that will have the most impact on the performance and success of our people and organisations. All organisations have a commercial focus, managing tight budgets, delivering on profit margins or conducting cost-benefit analyses of new projects. So it also means being customer and business focused, using your in-depth knowledge to develop ideas and deliver work that will create real value and contribute to the bottom line. When I think about what it means to be commercial, I think there are three things that I'd consider. Firstly, there's the obvious. Most people functions operate as a cost centre. We don't generate profit for our organisations. So it's incredibly important to me to understand the costs associated with the decisions that we make. At its most simple level, to be commercial is to challenge yourself each and every time you make a case to introduce a new people initiative or deliver a new service as to how much it's going to cost the organisation versus what benefit it has. For me, the people function has long been accused of being interest-led. So how do we dispel that myth? For me, it's about closely collaborating with our business colleagues, ideally co-creating the business strategy, but at the very least understanding it so that we can ensure that the people priorities that we create are relevant to support the organisation's goals. Being commercial means looking at your organisation from the outside in. We need to understand what the implications of these external forces are for our own organisation and how we can develop appropriate responses to them. I think there's a number of factors for us. Um, I think the key thing for me is being commercial with a social heart. Uh, we, we are public sector, we, we can't forget about that ethos. It's important for us to provide good value for money for our clients. I think the only difference between us and the private sector will be if it's for the greater good, we will run at smaller margins and we're, we're happy to do that if we feel like it will make a difference to our clients. Put really simply, commercial capability gets you a seat at the table. Whilst the people agenda and the contribution it can make has changed and grown significantly over the last few years, without an understanding about what's important to the organisation, so its strategic priorities, be they growth, profitability, new markets, customer centricity, then it's hard to know what levers you need to pull when you're developing the people strategy. We run a number of training programmes around commercialism and ensure that the teams out there understand the importance of why that commercial mindset makes a huge difference to us because without that revenue, we would struggle to deliver some of the services out there for the greater good in our communities. There are many things that you can do to develop commerciality and the CIPD website's a really good resource to have a look at. Um, but I think I have three favourites. Firstly, being curious. Don't be afraid to challenge. Ask the questions that nobody else dares to ask. Strive to understand how your organisation works and make the link between what you do and how your company achieves its strategic priorities. The second for me is about being externally focused. Always keep an eye on what's happening in the market and share any insights that you find. And then I think finally the one that's most important to me about being commercial is thinking outside in. Think like a customer or a client. What would your customer expect of your company? I think the most important skill for me is understanding the importance of outcomes. I think it's got to be focused on ensuring that you're delivering outcomes that are in line with client expectations. One of the criticisms of HR professionals historically is we're not great with numbers. For us to be taken serious as HR professionals in the commercial world, we've got to have an understanding of the financials. This piece of work that I'm delivering, what kind of return is it bringing back into the organisation? What are the actual financial benefits and impact of that going to be? I think for me, as long as you, the initiatives that you do as a people function and the support that you provide are directly linked to the organisation's overarching goals, then you will be able to demonstrate that these are sensible investments that the business needs to make.